Hi everyone, welcome to Gundam Time. My name is Andrew Pearson, and I am a USA Today bestselling author of urban fantasy and supernatural thrillers urban and fantasy. horror. Oh, yeah, urban fantasy. <laughs> like, what did you what did you think I should say? I don't know. I just, urban fiction is what I thought you said for a second. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm joined today by this dude, Nolan. Nolan, and who are you? Husband of Andrea. Okay, <laughs> he is. And those of you who've been on the channel for a little while know um, that about him. I am slowly sinking Good. into well, we into just, despair. Just, <laughs> I'm sinking into despair. Um, the game wasn't that bad. <laughs> okay. Kind of it was. Kind of was. So um, we're actually doing a review of Game of Empires, which is a game I discovered through my recent series of slammed in your face ads, game ads, whatever. So I'm sitting here playing Rogue with the Dead, and I get an ad for Game of Empires, and I downloaded it on the second ad I watched. I was like, oh, that was kind of funny. I'm going to, and I'll actually put that ad in here. Um, I'm going to try this game out and see what I think about it. And uh, I, I ended up enjoying it quite a bit, enough to make Nolan download it, and he started playing it. So we're going to go ahead and talk about our pros and cons, and then I'm going to talk about why I have decided never to play the game again. So, okay, my pros. Um, it's the fun, fun basic gameplay. I really enjoyed the gameplay. So, like, attacking the barbarians that surround your base, I, I thought that was a lot of fun. The barbarian huts that your alliance attacks together, and then the individual little barbarians that run around. I really enjoyed the quests and the objective maps, you know, going out and friending different things, alliances, all of that stuff, um, things like that. The uh, And then fighting. I liked the fighting quite a bit. Um, I liked the gathering resources. I thought that was a fun little thing. You know, every game has like a resource that you're supposed to gather. And in this one, it's like woods and food and uh, stones and iron and things like that. I enjoyed it. Up, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it upgrading my heroes. <laughs> I enjoyed upgrading heroes. I loved exploring... <coughs> Sorry, I'm I'm just getting over COVID, so I'm gonna ha I have a tickle in my throat. Anyway, I loved exploring. I loved the, the the whole map wasn't available to be seen, so that was kind of fun. And then I like the aspect, the building bigger and better. It has a very similar style to Clash of Clans, which is one of my favorite games, as you guys know. Um, I really enjoyed the style of it, uh, the artwork, the design of the buildings, um, that kind of stuff. I I like how similar it is to Clash of Clans. I enjoyed that. Um, and then I loved the history angle. Um, I liked that they're actual people, though Nolan was like, eh, that wasn't quite accurate. <laughs> but, okay, Nolan, what were the things that you liked about the game? Um, a lot A lot of this is similar to you. Um, combat was okay. Um, they don't... I don't know. Mostly it's negative. Okay. I'm trying to be positive. Uh, uh, um... I like that you could like actually move your base to be next to people that are you're allied with. Yeah, um, that was cool because then you're like building a little country. Yeah, with a caveat. Yes, which we'll get into. Um, and that was probably one of my um, aside from what she said, probably one of the things I like the most. What about. she said. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, in addition to what she said. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It took us a while to track down each other because like we we're in the same map and then it was like how, where are you though and like to move yeah and like how hard i ended up in order was. to add him to the alliance like he had to comment in the chat which i was like it, it should be a little easier than that and that wasn't it wasn't made obvious that that was how you would add somebody you know to your alliance yeah anyway <laughs> there you go that's probably the thing i have to add that was the most interesting part okay so my cons um the scout there's this thing you can have the scout go home or you can have the scout auto um explore um my i hated that you have to have him auto explore like every 30 seconds like you can be like auto explore and he'll go and explore one little square of fog and then he's done and i'm like okay so he has to be told constantly to, to auto, auto explore. explore i'm like how is that auto if he's constantly having to be told to do it and <laughs> it should say like explore for one hour <clears throat> yeah or something like that or You're just like, okay. auto explore until i tell you to stop and just keep finding I mean, fog until, you know, make, they make you want to keep clicking. Oh, I hate that. Game, but, but I'm uh, like, you can send them all the way across the map. So I ended up doing that. Like you could clip all, click all the way up at the top of the map and he'll go all the way up there, but he's not exploring. He's going through ways that he knows already. Um, okay. So that was the first thing that I, I just right off the bat hated about the game. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Can't he just like, it is an unslothful and unwise servant who, that must be compelled in all things. 
and he's always constantly having to be told what to do. Okay, the next thing that I did not like is there's no bulk accept option for what the scout finds. Uh, how frustrating would you say that was? It was super frustrating. I didn't explore as much as you did because I'm lazy. <laughs> and I was done at like 15 because you have to click multiple times to because they find something and you have to like go see what it is. And then yes. You have to click on it and then accept it if it's a thing that you get yeah. that he found. And it's yeah. just like... Uh... Really annoying. And when I would send the scout all the way across the map, the next time I'd log in, he'd have found like 80 things. And it would take me forever to click on the stupid tents and the stupid spy glasses. I'm like... The tents weren't as bad, but the spy glasses, that's my next con. Spy glass animation was very annoying. It was like, it pulls you into the spy, <coughs> spy glass, you tap on it, it pulls you out, then it pulls you back in again. And you have to wait for that every single time you uh, click on a spy glass. Anyway, so those are, those are my, my cons that I, I, even while I was enjoying the game, I, you know, I was making note of. So what were cons that... Uh, too many menus with things hidden in them like you log in and there's like 80 different not even kidding like dozens of different places where you gather resources from when you were gone yes or like your dailies and then they have like every five minutes there's another one literally every five minutes there's a refresh on an item that you get yeah and you're just clicking clicking around in menus all the time and not playing the game it's just clicking and accepting things yeah that's yeah. most of what you do yeah. there's not a way to queue up stuff like troops or anything like that, you have to do every single one individually, individually every yep. time. And then when they're built, you have to accept them before you can start new ones. And yeah. you click on all the buildings for those. And then there's just a lot of clicking and not a lot of actually doing of things. And that's yeah. the number one thing I disliked about the game is just how yeah. much time I had to spend trying to dig down into menus to see. And then you receive the item. So like you click to get the item and then it throws it in your inventory. And then you have like five in your inventory and you click on all the things that just got put in your inventory to make the message go away because you wouldn't know if you got something new until you cleared all your old ones yeah, and just yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, and there's every time you log in, there's like a new, was it a red square or something like that? A new alert that there's something, and it was all over the place. I mean, it was just really aggravating. I was like, I was like, okay, so they're trying to give you busy work so that it's you... It's busy work. It's a lot of busy work. A lot of busy work so that you keep playing game the game. Play. But yeah, the they game... They keep giving yeah. you stuff, but yeah. it's like... So you want to click on it, but you're not playing a game. It's just, it's literally uh, the little mouse with the food. And like, yeah. you keep pressing the button and it gives you food. Yeah, exactly. And, but the and like, payback wasn't. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm not actually playing. A, I want to play a game, not just click a button. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what other no cons? Strategy. The big one. Do you want to say the big one? Not yet. Okay. If there's any other that's little the ones. Biggest, that's the biggest thing. <clears throat> that annoyed you. Okay. Yeah, just too many places for things to be too many different kinds of quests and stuff like that mm -hmm. to complete too many different kinds of and half of them you're not eligible for and it's telling you yeah. to do them and you can't do them because you're not eligible you know yeah, it's like i'm not that level yet so yep. why are you telling me to do a thing and then you click on it take me to the thing and it's like it's not available and you're like oh, then shut up yeah so would you keep playing the game even with these cons no <laughs> okay um i would because <laughs> there i was able to get into the gameplay enough to find enjoyment in it and i figured you know the stupid menus i agree with that there's so many menus and so many different places i even i was like okay eventually i will you know i will learn all of those right and i i enjoyed the gameplay what really really annoyed me about the game actually um i would have to say the no bulk option for scout findings at first, I was patient with that, but then by the time I'd been playing the game for several days, I was like, okay, this is starting to get really old. And so, yeah, that probably would have kept me from playing the game again. But ultimately, the thing that I discovered made me hate the game was you... I, I put a ton of work into my alliance. I... I A ton of work into it. And poor Nolan, he doesn't... He wasn't, I mean, he was done by the time, I think, by the time uh, that got, got done. But I had active players. I was booting people who were not active. I was um, setting up rules and, and comment. we were chatting in the Alliance chat and all sorts of stuff. I just had a lot of time put into this and it worked really hard to get us all in the same place. And then I got COVID and I was out of the game for two, um, two and a half days. I signed back into the game. Um, and this is something that I absolutely hate about the game. You get attacked, they relocate you. Um, and I don't understand. I know if it's somebody that's bigger than you and the gates of your city have been, you know, destroyed. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> so you get your gates are, 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 um, 
uh, get attacked and they relocate you. So after two and a half days, um, that happened only like once or twice on my main account. I did create a secondary account to join my alliance um, so that I would have somebody there to join me when I was attacking things. Uh, in the very beginning. Anyway, so my secondary cat account got attacked and relocated multiple times. My first account did not um, until I got COVID and I signed in. I'd been relocated and dropped from my alliance. And I was like, what the heck? It's been two and a half days. And I was like, I put a ton of work into, no, I got relocated first. And then I put a ton of work into a new location, got everybody by me. Then I got COVID. Um, and I got booted from my alliance and that really, really ticked me off. And I'm like, okay, so this game is supposed to be for people who sign in all day, every day. You don't take breaks from the game. It's not a casual play game. They only want serious players. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm, I am not your target but demographic. Serious what? No, I mean, it's, it's just inconvenient. It's, there's so many inconveniences that it just gets in the way of actually doing anything in the game. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. To me, you're not playing a game at all. Yeah. It's just a click machine. Yeah. You don't actually play a game. No, exactly. So uh, that really annoyed me. Like I was like, I, you have to, I mean, there's nothing anywhere that says, Hey, by the way, if you don't log in for a certain amount of time, you get booted out of your clan, even if you're in charge of the clan, there was nothing anywhere that said that. Uh, there's also nothing anywhere that said that you get relocated if you get attacked. And there's nothing anywhere that says, this is what you need to do to make sure you don't get or relocated if you get attacked or nothing. There was nothing anywhere in the game. The tutorial up until the point point where I, I created an alliance was actually pretty decent. And then as soon as I created that alliance, there was nothing. And I was like, I was like, okay, so when you get attacked, you get relocated. When you, when you, you move and, and people in the chat were talking about how they're trying to find a place for their whole alliance to go. And they finally got everybody all together. And then I'm like, I worked really hard to do that. Finally got everybody on the same spot was I built a Citadel and then I uh, got COVID. And like I said, then, and I'm like, you know, it's not worth it. It is so not worth it for me to go through all that work again. And honestly, by the time, I don't know what it was, but maybe it was once I built the Citadel, I could see the entire map and I didn't have anything left to explore. There's no fog left, which was kind of annoying. There was nowhere, there was no empty space in there anyway. So anywhere. So I guess the whole point of this game is to attack somebody enough for them never want to play the game again. And then you take over their land. I'm like, where's the, where, where, what is the ultimate end point for the game makers with that kind of a strategy? Like mm -hmm. you end up with 10 players in each server who own the whole thing and, or, you know, 10 alliances or something. And then they're not making money off of the little guy anymore, which little guy, meaning the people that, that, you know, nickel and dime the game here and there, you know, they pay dollar 99 or 99 cents. And you make the bulk of your money off of people like that, because you can get a lot more of those than you can get of people who spend a hundred dollars on the game. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. That's my theory as an author selling books for cheap. I sell cheap books. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's just not, yeah, there's not a point. It's like you make an alliance, but there's no point to having an alliance because it can't stay together. Yeah. Ever. So yeah, because little the people like get Empire, attacked and yeah. get relocated all yeah. the time. Yeah, it's like there's no way to actually do it. It's not like you're not good enough. It's like you literally can't actually do it. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. Anyway. Uh, what a waste of time. What a waste <laughs> of time. And I'm still looking for a new game. I'm still playing Ro uh, Rogue with the Dead. Um, there's things about <coughs> things about that game that I don't like, uh, but I still play it. Uh, it's not a serious play game for me, and I'm still playing Clash of Clans. Uh, and occasionally random dice, but I need a new game because I'm having knee surgery next week and I want to be able to not pull my hair out. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it, right? That's it. Okay, so I'm going to continue reviewing games um, and if I like them enough, I'll get Lyconius to install them. He doesn't have to install all of them just because <laughs> he's not going to install all of them. Uh, and I'll continue doing reviews and uh, hit the like and the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want to be alerted to future videos. Definitely subscribe if you want to follow as I try out new games. And we just got interrupted by our toddler. So that's the end of the video. Talk to you all later. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. I've still got COVID. We're going to see if I can get through this whole thing without coughing. But as a, as a thank you for listening all the way to the end, one of you is going to win an Amazon.com card for $10. If you go back through the video and start at the beginning and watch it very closely, I have strewn the claim code in order 
through the video. There are 14 characters total. That's 13 letters, one number. And the first one is D. And that one is not in the video. So the first number or letter that you find in this video is going to be the second character in that claim code. The first person to get all of those codes, um, all of those uh, characters correctly and goes and in puts it into their Amazon.com cart or Amazon.com claim wherever you go to redeem. I think it's like Amazon.com forward slash redeem. Actually, let me double check that really fast. So if you go to amazon.com forward slash GC forward slash redeem and make sure you're signed into your account and then insert the code, the first person to do so will get a $10 gift card applied to their amazon.com account. So again, that first letter is D. Let me double check that. Yep. The first letter is D go back through the beginning of the video and I have strewn the rest of the letters and numbers, um, into the video in the order that they're supposed to go in. So if you don't end up with 14 characters, then you've missed one of them. And uh, good luck and okay, have fun, bye. Oh, and we're gonna be doing this again. So I don't know, I would like to do it for every video of mine, but I don't know, it depends on how much time I have. So there you go, bye.